Welcome back everybody to part 2 of the Netrunner art comparison. If you remember last time we went over the runner cards and this time we're gonna finish up with the corporation cards. So let's just get right into it. This is the first time you've seen an ice card. Um, this is the program or the wall that the runner has to go through in order to get into the juicy server. And these ice, uh, well, they can be three types, barrier, code, gate, and um, sentry. That's not important right now. What is important is this guy. This is our main guy right now at this moment. His name is Heimdall, and he's uh, sort of a robot artificial intelligence uh, barrier. He's supposed to stop you. And he's a big ice. Now, I know you don't know the strengths of the cards, or if you do, if, if you play the game, you know. But if you don't play the game, you have no clue. This is a big ice. Uh, let me just get the teach nade. Um, there we go. There we are. See that? That is the strength of the ice. And the number six is fairly big. It's a fairly big ice. So let's see if the art uh, reflects this. Um, is he a big guy? Sure. He's mean looking, he has a nice big sword. There's a lot of flashy bits over here. Um, it's it's um, it's good, I like it. It, it has a retro 80s, um, whatchamacallit, synth wave color uh, scheme, and I appreciate that. But, as always, there's a but. Um, well, this is the new version, and well, Look at the original. Now tell me honestly, who are you more intimidated by? By this guy or by this guy? I don't know about you, but this guy looks a lot more scarier. Alright? Like he's up front. He's blocking your way. While this one, well, he looks like he would maybe block you or maybe go into battle with you. You know, maybe he's on your side. That's what I get from this card. But this, it's fairly straightforward. And, uh, I don't know, I like this art style a little bit better. It's a barrier. He's a big tough guy. He has a shield here. He doesn't have a shield here. Big mistake. Big minus. Points go to the... Old art, of course. Uh, Hudson 1.0. Uh, this is, these are a series of ice where, uh, each one of them is an, uh, biroid AI type of a deal, like, uh, like a robot, essentially, trying to stop you. Uh, this is the next one. Uh, not much to say about this one, honestly. Uh, I don't really like it. He's sort of, you know, had punched over, like, oh, what, what do you want from me? Uh, he, he looks like, uh, like, uh, like some kind of a street peddler. He doesn't, seem that intimidating to me if you know what i mean this is the new art this is the old art now the old art is um i don't know sort of uh has some unusual kinks it's more far back and um it looks really old it looks dated but he looks more threatening in this one more intimidating he's sort of farther back and you're like thinking oh what is he up to he's up to no good uh, he's he wants to kill me he wants to destroy me I like this one better. He's more intimidating because he's farther away. You can see less of him. Meanwhile, this guy's trying. That's what it is. He's trying too hard. This guy is trying too hard. He's like, I'm gonna intimidate you. You, I'm gonna intimidate you. You're not gonna come through to the server. You're going to stop before. Ha ha. Meanwhile, this one is like, yeah, sure, come. You know, no problem. We'll handle it. More intimidating. Points go to the old art, this one. Oh no, I adore this ice. This is Ichi 1.0, and during the course said he was one of the most powerful sentries that you can have. A sentry is a type of ice that usually does something very dangerous. This one in particular trashes programs, he destroys your programs. There are other sentries that can tag you or kill you even. And look at this art. I really, really like it. this sort of like chrome, like a Pepsi man. Yeah, he's sort of like a like a like a surfer as well. He has this long hair. He has the big gun over here. He's all shiny and ready to kick ass. What was the flavor text? Let me just. <clears throat> My reputation would precede me if any 
could speak of it because he destroys them before they can speak of it. Awesome. This guy is really intimidating. This is the new art and I really, really like it. The old art was good back then. Now, when we compare it to this one, I think this is the clear winner. Even though the idea is the same, this is an intimidating guy. He, I don't know. He just he's not enough bling on this one. Okay, not enough bling. That is the downfall of this uh, of this picture. Not enough bling. So points go to the new one. Okay, this is Victor 1.0. He's again a biroid. Once again, the same problem is with Hudson. This guy is trying too hard. Okay, he's all up in your face. He's gonna get you. He's gonna scare you. He's gonna spook you. He's gonna spook the socks right off of you. And uh, <sighs> my name is Victor. Nice to meet you. Would you like to play a game? They're going for this kind of a uh, creepy, maybe jigsaw kind of vibe. But this guy, he's too up in your face. He looks like a Terminator. Meanwhile, this is the new art, of course. Look at the old art. The old art is technically less impressive, it's in monochrome, it's sort of fuzzy, but that fuzziness gives it a sense of danger because you can't see him clearly, his face is obscured, you don't know what he's up to, he's holding a gun, he most likely will shoot you, and the business suit I think is a very nice touch, and this guy looks like he wants to play a game, a deadly game, of Russian roulette with a semi-automatic in your head, that's what I get from this guy. And this is good because this ice is actually pretty much, uh, is very dangerous. Do one brain damage and the run. Yeah, fits. Fits a lot better than this one. So points go to the old. Okay, prepare thyself, young Padawan. Green level clearance. The idea with this card is you have some kind of special clearance with the government or an agency or whatever and you get to do stuff. Green level clearance is the highest level of a security a corp can gain access to legally anyway. And you have down the road many, many, many other clearances. But this was the first one. And this art is so cool. Look at it. It's like comic book style. It's like exactly a blend of abstract and regular art because he's floating in the ether of the net and all that. But he's a dude, you know, he's like formed and it looks really awesome. Like a secret agent in the net. And he's green. He's getting a green level clearance. This is the old art. Okay. 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 Who, who, who came up with this? Who, who, uh, who brought drugs to the art department? Come on, Harry, Steve, was it you, Steve? Did you bring shrooms to the art department? I don't know what to what to make of this. It's a drill dog. It's it's a dog or a fox or some other whatever, and a drill, <laughs> and he's drilling into something, and I guess that's a green level clearance. He's green, sure, okay, but. What the hell, man? Uh, I, what I suspect happened. They didn't intend for this art to be on this card. This was art for something way else that got scrapped or whatever. It, it got canned. And they used it for here to, I mean, glorious effect. Needless to say, points go to the old. Just because... Yeah. Ash. Ash is a biroid, so he's a robot. That's him. Public meet Ash, Ash meet public. And he's sort of a overseer at the, at the server. And he's uh, he's protecting the server. He's a, he's a straightforward guy. He's like a very strict and he demands uh, efficiency from his workers. As you see in the flavor text, eyes forward, please. And this art is really good. It's, it's really good because look, he's sort of away. So you don't see him clearly, but the sternness of his face through these rigid lines just pours through this is the best part of the picture this part here hell yeah he's so strict and like and dangerous he's dangerous looking look at him except this one doesn't convey the danger it's like oh come on leave me alone i'm so like, mm -hmm. eyes forward please ma'am ma'am eyes forward please She's, oh fuck off idiot the art is good this is the new art but Okay, now this this is more silly. This is this is a sillier version of the same idea. This is Ash. He's overseeing, but but look at look at all of their expressions. They're priceless. Look at this guy. He's like 
He wants to hang himself. And this guy is like, oh my god, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. Just, just, just stare for, just, just stare forward. Just do your job, and he'll go away. Except he doesn't. Look at him. He'll not go away. <laughs> not, not bloody likely. So, as the theme is with many of these cards, less impressive art from a technical sp standpoint, but from an atmospheric standpoint and from a flavor standpoint, it just, I don't know, I just like this, this one better. This is the old art, and this is done by Mauricio Herrera, and he's one of my favorite artists uh, with the net run, and sadly he, he, he did a criminally low amount of art. He did few pictures for the game, but the pictures he did are awesome. You're gonna see one later. Get points good to the old, okay? Uh, ice trap, uh, another ice. This is from Jinteki. It's a whirlpool. It, I mean, the boat's a nice touch. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's pink. It's, it's good, okay? This is the old art. Can we just agree that this one's better and move along? Thank you. Neural EMP. The deal with this card is uh, the corpse sends a shock through the network, through the system. It goes into your brain and it can hurt you or kill you, depending on how much HP you have. It's one net damage. It's not a lot. And this card is good. Because you see this guy's like in pain, obviously. It, he got a neural EMP to his uh, left ear. That's not a pleasant experience, believe me. It's from the Jinteki. This is the icon of the Jinteki Corporation. So that's all flavorful, all good. The only criticism I have is he looks like somebody. He doesn't look like a character. He looks like an actual person. I don't know. I, it sort of just takes me away. Like this is a guy in the art department somewhere, or he's a designer, or whatever, and they just stuck him in there. It's a minimal criticism. But the thing I want to uh, emphasize is this card can kill you. It can kill you. Does this look like a card that can kill you? No. It looks like an annoyance. This is the new one, by the way. Let's look at the old, old art. The old art is a lot more ex ex abstract, obviously. I mean, it's not abstract. Abstract. It's 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 a wire. It's the inside of the net, and lightning's going through it. But this one, again, <laughs> less technically impressive, but looks intimidating. I mean, at least it does to me. It's like <laughs> dead, or it's like you might be dead, or you might not be. Hmm. Who knows? Jinteki knows. I like this one better. Just because it looks more intimidating, it looks cooler to play. Like I play this. Ah, ah, I hurt my ear. I'm dead. That's why. Points go to the old. Ghost branch. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is an ambush and a facility. It's supposed to. Well, it. it it's sort of like a, like a throwaway branch, a subsidiary, or oh, whatever. I, I have no idea what this is, but. Just look at the art. Is it impressive? Yes. Is it colorful? Yes. Is it chock full of details and flavor? Yes. NBN and all of these monitors, they're like, a, they're like a news corporation. So this fits in perfectly, except, oh, what is this? There are people here. Why are there people in a ghost branch? It's supposed to be a throwaway, some, I don't know, brand that doesn't matter. This one looks like a hub of important stuff being processed. So why? Once again, this is art for something completely different from, from for some other card. And they just stuck it in here. This is the new art, of course. Look at the old one. Now this is a ghost branch, right? Nobody around. Look, you're not even on Earth. You're on the fucking moon. How much far away can you get? Well, you can go to Mars, but, but whatever, man. This one, a lot better. It looks like an ambush. Does this look like an ambush? No, it doesn't. It looks like a hub, like a party. It's good. It's good that you arrived, right? This one looks like a no, an actual ambush. Like, oh crap! I'm gonna find the I'm gonna find the data. You come in through here, and you're oh, how the fuck did I get up on the moon? Points go to the old because it's better. Data Raven. This is. Ah, this is such a cool ice, because this ice doesn't do anything um, directly to you. It's a sentry, but it doesn't hurt you immediately. It just tags you. It tags you uh, whether you want it or not. I mean, you can choose, but it will... If you want to pass this ice, you'll get tagged. 
okay? A tag means that the corporation knows something about you and they can send in uh, their bomb squad <laughs> or the police or they can just hire an assassin to kill you if you're tagged, you know? Being tagged is bad. And this is one of the best tagging eyes in the game. Data Raven. He, you know, gets your data. And I really like this art. This is the old art. Look at how intimidating this thing looks. He's like observing you and he's just, you know, jotting down your name, your address, your mother's maiden name, your father's last name, your shoe size, your, you know, just everything about you. He knows. The data raven knows. Exactly. Keep in mind this one while we move to the new one. <sighs> ah, what is this? What is this? I know what it is. These are birds. These are ravens. They were going for a Hitchcock type of deal. They're observing you. And it's such a good idea. It's so good. All of these uh, critters just hanging around looking at your every step. And you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna go through. But mm, this doesn't smell good for me in the near future. But they're too far away. I mean, the first time I saw this piece, I was wondering, what the hell is this? this? Did somebody sneeze on it? Are these boogers? What's going on here? Then I was like, wait, let me get my magnifying glass. Where's my magnifying glass? Whoop. Oh, they're birds! Oh, I see, they're ravens! They're a murderer raven! I don't know if murder is the correct, like thingy, well, flock of ravens, whatever. But they're ravens, and they're on the branches, and they're gonna observe you, and whatever, man. Ah, yeah. Excellent idea. Excellent. But, yeah. What? <laughs> Can you argue with this? No, you can't. Points go to the old. Anonymous tip. You play this card, you draw three cards, it's an anonymous tip. Except it's not anonymous, is it? Look. He's right here, and this guy can see him, this guy can see him if he was looking, but this guy definitely sees him. Look, da -da 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 -da. yep, sees him, this one, sees him, yep, this one. Well, he could turn around and see him. So it's not really anonymous, is it? No, it's not, of course not, but look at the flavor text even. Please stay connected, priority transfer in progress, and operator will, sh sh <laughs> will shortly verify... <laughs> Does this flavor text adequately describe this? No, it's not a call. Unless this is a, this is the anonymous tip. Maybe this called this guy and this is the tip. I don't buy it. This is the new art. Look at the freaking old art, man. It's so cool, right? Look, this guy, he's the anonym, anonymous tip. Do you see him? No, you don't, but he's walking away from his pad, which he left on the ground. And look, please stay connected. Priority transfer in progress. An operator will shortly develop. <laughs> this is it. It's such a good piece because ah, ah, look, it's cold and it's like, oh, what's going on? It's all blue and this guy's walking away like, fuck this shit, man. I'm not gonna get found out. It's just an anonymous. I wanna stay anonymous, man, okay? I wanna stay fucking anonymous. So good. So awesome. Points go to the old, of course. Of course they do. Of course. Psychographics. The idea with this one is, uh, the more tags you have, the, the better the comp corporation can advance their agendas. It's basically market research, or, I don't know, like, market testing. Crap like that. You know, psychographics. Who cares? Is this art good? Yes, it's good. It's excellent. There, there, there are colors, it's vibrant, and it sort of conveys the message, right? There are a lot of ads, they're pumping this guy for information, or this guy's pumping them for information. Like, what do you like, girls? Oh, I don't know, I like the color blue. Look at that, you know? And this this art is, is good, even though I suspect the original purpose was not for this card, it was for something else, but it still fits. Access to the largest consumer databa database in the galaxy has its advantages. Eh, okay, fine, it's good, this is the new art, this is the old art, and this one's more, it's a lot more menacing, and that's good for this card, because this card can win games. Like if you fuck up and you get too many tags, this card with another card, but it doesn't matter, can win, can win the game, just flat out, boom, it's done. See this? You're dead. I mean, not dead, but you lost. You might as well be dead. Look, uh, it fits the flavor a bit better, uh, but um, because it's a data, it's a database. It's a consumer database, right? So this one's good. This is the old art, and honestly, between these two, like, 
I know I'm used to this one, so this one's like uh, has a special place in my heart, you know? This one looks better, it's more flashy. And I'm gonna give it to the new one this time. It just looks cool. It just looks... Hey, hello. Hello. What do you like? Uh, oh, I like winning. Oh, good. SEA source. Now, the SEA source is the space elevator agency. That's the C part. In the game, there's a big space elevator. It's the only one in the world and... And it's an important thing, okay? Corporations are fighting over it and yeah, whatever. SEA source is basically there uh, like uh, the police of the space elevator and this card tracks you down. It gives you a tag. This art is serviceable. That's all I'm going to say. It's serviceable. It's so generic. This could have been anywhere. It could have been like uh, police raids or whatever. Gathering information. This card could have been called gathering information or, I don't know, uh, security testing, whatever. And this art would fit. This is the new art, and this is the old art. Just just look, look how much better this looks. This is the space elevator, right? And these are the agents, and they're tracking you down. Look how mu much more d dynamic it is. Like, they're in space, obviously, because this guy's upside downy. And just look how grand it looks, and... It should look grand because the space elevator is a grand thing. It's the most important structure in that world. And who's the artist? Mauricio Herrera. Hell yeah, man. It looks good. No discussion. Points go to the old. Red herrings. <laughs> it's a card that makes you think it's something. Whatever. Who cares? It's red herrings. There's red herrings. This art is good. This is the old art. And it's whatever. There are folders. This one's better. Points go to the new. Hostile Takeover. <sighs> I love this card. It's a 2-1 agenda. It can be scored out of hand. It's easy to score. It gives you a lot of... It's so flavorful. You're doing a hostile takeover. And I I think they mean literally. Like, guns blazing. You go into the... You go into the corporation. You just take it over. Like, uh, do you have guns? No? Okay. Get out. You know, or don't. Your choice. Right? It's so good. You, you score a hostile takeover, you get seven credits, you get a whole lot of cash and one bad publicity because you just took over a, another corporation. Oh, look at this guy. He's the boss. He's the boss, man. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an offer you, they can't refuse. There are going to be some changes around here. This art, genius. Mauricio Herrera, once again. This is the old art. This is the new. I mean, uh, it's the same scene. The boss with two dudes. And this time it is really a hostile takeover. But it just... Oh, where's the... Where's the soul in this art? Where is it? I mean, I, I don't mean to bash on the artist. I mean, it's, it's a good... It's a competent, good picture. But just look at this guy. Oh, just look at his expression. It's awesome. Points go to the old. The new one's good. This one's better. Uh, Hadrian's Wall is a nice barrier. It's a giant chicken that's protecting the... I mean, it's not a chicken. It's, it's a big bird of prey sort of thing. And these wings extend and form the barrier. Hence, Hadrian's Wall. This is the new art. This is the old art. This looks like a fucking chicken. Okay, this is a chicken. This is a Hadrian's Wall. So, points go to the new art. Just It's the same idea and this is better execution. Priority requisition, the first 5-3 agenda we had in the game. 5-3 agendas are, by the way, the biggest, well, one of the biggest agendas in the game. They're big, powerful agendas. This one, I adore. I adore this one. The art in this one is so good. Priority requisition. You're gonna get something for this guy. Look at him. He is pissed off at your incompetence and you better do what he says. Look at the flavor text. If it isn't in my terminal by 6 p.m., heads are going to roll. Exactly. Look. He's all like, poof, forceful. Doom. It's like, he, he struck this table so hard, it tilted the whole, uh, the whole picture to one side. But, poof. Awesome. This, this is the old art, and it's perfect. The new art is constipated. This guy is constipated. He needs... <laughs> <laughs> His priority requisitions uh, requisition are some laxatives. That's all I can say. Does this guy look threatening? Yeah, but in a sense that he's gonna fire you. Like, this guy's gonna 
kick your ass. He's going to kick your ass. Just look at this guy. Look. He's a bodybuilder, man. He's, he's going to tear your ass up. This guy, not so much. No. 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 Heads are not going to roll. No. Points go to the old. Private security force. Um, not much to say about this. This, At least with the theme. It's private security force. It's the security force of the corporation. Their own little army, let's say. And this is really good out. Really good art. Uh, this chick kind of doesn't doesn't look like she belongs, but she's like, oh, whatever, man. Just let me go home. This guy's ready to kick, kick ass. But this is generally good art. It's detailed. It conveys the message. Unfortunately, <laughs> it has some very stiff competition. This is new art. Look at the old art. Just look at it. Look at the cheese at the 80s cheese in this one, man. Plus, look, Vegeta and Nappa from Dragon Ball Z. Who can argue with that? Look at their expression. They're like ready to kick ass. Who's the artist? Mauricio Herrera once again. This guy brings expression to his characters like no other artist in this game does. He really gives his characters unique expression. And in fact, Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you I'm, I'm gonna show you some uh, an another art. Uh, it's it's my favorite. Uh, just let me do this. This card is my favorite um, card in the game, art wise and theme wise. Just look at these two guys. They're like, oh, what's what the hell is going on? I don't think this is the right apartment. Man. And and the, and the woman's like, holy crap! What the fuck are these guys? And it fits the theme. Perfectly. Once again, Mauricio Herrera. Awesome. Awesome job. Regarding the private security force, of course, the points go to the old art. Of course. Melange Mining Corporation. It's a mining corporation. It's, it's it, it gives you a lot of money. This one is on the moon. It gives you money. It's good. It's, this is new art. This is the old art. It's also good. This one's more claustrophobic, like it's in the mine. But this one's like more grand, like grandiose. And it should be grandiose. It gives you seven credits. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money in today's, in today's, you know, cash, in today's, you know, I don't know what I was going to say. This one, whatever. Uh, you can honestly split the points, uh, like whatever you want. They're both good. Okay. The best for last, I believe. Look at this thing. This art is the new art for this card, Pad Campaign, and it is great. It is great because this is a commercial campaign for Pad devices, for mobile phones, yeah, whatever. And look, the whole family is enthralled by them. Flavor text, it is just like the one you bought, only better. Everything fits with this one. It's so good. Like, look at them. Consumerism at its highest, man. The whole family has one, right? And it's an advertisement. It's just oozing, oozing with flavor. Once again, unfortunately, it has some stiff competition. Look, just look at the simplicity of this thing. This is the old art. And just, I mean, think of the story behind this one. You bought the new pad, and the first thing, and the first thing you see is an advertisement for a new one. This is genius. This is, I think, I personally think now I, I could be, I most likely am wrong, but I consider this the smartest picture in Netrunner because it encapsulates consumerism and just this push to buy, buy, buy perfectly for me. And it's interesting. It's a zoomed in picture of the hand holding this this gadget that they just bought and ah uh, there's a better one on the market right this instant i mean it, it is like the one you bought only better i adore this one oh it's it's not the last uh, i'm 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 apologize i'm apologize okay hedge fund it's an operation transaction it gives you money okay it's like Chaotic stock market. This is the old art. This is the new art. I don't like it. It's busy. It's abstract. It's way too abstract. I mean, it's, it's not way too abstract, but what is this? It looks like somebody vomited lines on the, on the fucking canvas, okay? This one's like, whoa, whoa, wheeling and dealing. Bye bye, sell, sell. No, Jesus. Fucking hell, George. Have you learned nothing? I like the old one better. We're done. People. 
people, I would like to thank you for for taking this journey with me, this life-changing journey with me through these art comparison videos. I thank you for your attention. I, I cannot express how much... Okay, enough bullshit. You're free to go, man. You're free to go, okay? You, you've stuck it out. Good on you. I thank you. Thank you. And, well, I'll see you again soon, right? With something else. Something new and exciting. Hopefully. Right? What the hell is up with this thing? Seriously. Whoa. Whoa. Thank God for editing. <laughs>